The Death Wobble. One of the scariest experiences a motorcyclist will ever have. As motorcyclists, we need to know exactly what causes the death wobble and what you should do if you find yourself in this situation. That's why in this video, I'm going to explain what causes the death wobble and what you should do if it starts happening. Now let's hop into it. So let's start off with what exactly is the death wobble? The death wobble is a violent and uncontrollable shaking of the front tire in an oscillating motion from side to side. When this happens, this causes your handlebars to rapidly shake, making it almost impossible to steer your motorcycle. Holy cow, Joe, that would probably make me poop my pants. No doubt, Chuck. There's numerous reasons why this could happen, so let's start off with the first one on my list. Improper tire pressure. Now, I experienced this firsthand when I was renting a motorcycle in Texas. My wife and I were cruising down the highway, and all of a sudden, my handlebars started shaking rapidly, and it was hard to steer the motorcycle. Come to find out, we ended up having a flat tire going 70 miles an hour on the freeway. Low pressure in your tires can cause lateral movement, aka side to side. side. Low tire pressure and high speeds is the perfect recipe for the death wobble. Make sure you're routinely checking your tire pressure before you go out on a ride to help prevent this from happening. Next on the list, improperly loading your cargo. When loading cargo onto your bike, you must ensure the weight is distributed evenly. You don't want to load the majority of your weight towards the rear of the motorcycle. By doing this, this is going to cause your front tire to have less traction. A common rule of thumb is to abide by the load triangle. The load triangle is defined by the area between the front axle, rear axle, and the rider's head. This creates a triangle, hence the name. You want to load your heaviest items within this triangle. This will ensure the additional weight from your other cargo that you load will have the least effect on your motorcycle's handling. Moving along. Mechanical issues. This could range from bad wheel bearings, uneven tire wear, improperly adjusted suspension, and misaligned wheels just to name a few. It's extremely important to be doing these routine checks on your motorcycle before you go out on a ride. It also wouldn't hurt to take your bike up to the shop to be inspected by a professional. Next, rider error. Your motorcycle could be in tip top shape, but this doesn't completely eliminate your chances of the death wobble. Aggressive acceleration while cornering, too much speed, ignoring the road conditions, and popping wheelies could cause the death wobble. If you plan on popping a wheelie while you're out on the road, which, which I, I highly, highly don't, don't advise, advise, make sure you're landing it properly or you'll end up like this guy. All right, Joe, now what should we do if we start encountering the death wobble? Well, the first thing, Chuck, is don't panic. This might be hard to do, but trust me, this is extremely important. You want to make sure you keep your upper body loose. You don't want to have a tight grip on the handlebars and fight the wobble. The motorcycle is attempting to correct the issue. If you end up fighting the handlebars, this is only going to make it worse. Now you're going to want to start to gently roll off the throttle and let the engine do the braking. You do not want to use any front brake. As your motorcycle is slowing down, the wobble may get worse before it gets better. Just maintain your composure and I promise it'll get better. Okay. Stay cool, stay cool, stay cool. After you come to a stop, you need to figure out what caused the problem and fix the issue. Chances are it was mechanical, so it will happen again. Now that you know what to do when you encounter the death wobble, check out this video right here and I'll give you some tips on how to be safe while you're out on the road. This is Joe Go with Joe Go Motorcycle Adventures and until next time, ride on.